Hello everyone, Sam here from Super Nerd Gaming. I'm here for a retro pickup video. Uh, so I went into town today uh, with the kids and that. We went out to have a nice day out. But I went out to check out Level Up's new store. So Level Up is the retro shop that we have here in Liverpool. And they just opened a second store not too long ago. So I went in there to check it out and to pick some bits up while I was there. So let's get into it. So the first few bits I picked up, I picked up Torak 2, Seeds of Evil. Um, that was only 2 99 if you can see that, you can't see that, yes you can. Uh, 2 99 uh, I love this game, um, it was a great game. I mean the Torox and the N64 were fantastic, but my best memories of playing them is when I put the cheat in and you had every weapon. I mean, I think the nuke on it was so good, it would just destroy everything. Uh, but I've got one, two, I need three now, and I got Rage Wars up there, so I'm just after three, and then I've got all the Torox for the N64, so I'm quite happy with that, and especially three quid, three quid for an N64 game, any day of the week, mate, any day of the week. Uh, next one is Armourines for the N64. See a bit of a pattern going on here, I'm getting a lot more N64 games than I usually would do. Um, I'm mainly like a Mega Drive person, love picking up Mega Drive games, but nothing's been out there lately for me, nothing's like, oh, you need to pick that up. So, yeah, N64's been doing it. So, this is Armourines for the N64. Um, I remember seeing this in the N64 magazines when it came out, and thinking, oh, that looks fantastic. It was basically, it was kind of like Starship Troopers, um, and I just, I think I just couldn't afford it. Because I was just young and didn't have much money, and yeah, I just couldn't afford it, so I never got around to it. But I'm happy to pick her up for four pounds, and um, that's quite good. So yeah, again, I'm happy with that. Uh, the last item from Level Up is uh, Fighting Force Two for the Dreamcast. Now I've got Fighting Force One on the PS One. Uh, seeing this, I do not remember playing Fighting Force Two, uh, so I thought I'd pick her up for seven ninety nine because. I want to try expand my Dreamcast collection because compared to all my other collections I have here, my Dreamcast collection, it's actually down here, it's quite low. So I want to try at least get one game a month or something for the Dreamcast and start slowly building it up. The unfortunate case of this is the cases that absolutely crap and fall apart. I'd love someone to actually do some repo cases for these uh, so you know I could put all my Dreamcast games into prop cases and have them looking really good because at the minute I hate these cases I really do you literally you just blow on them and they fall apart but anyway that was complete with manual so I'm happy with that um, I then moved on to CEX because um, as bad as a reputation they have got and I've said this before they have got some retro games in and they just mispriced them and they are quite low so I went in there on the off chance, there was actually not much there, so I don't know if retros, uh, people are just digging in there to get the retro stuff, uh, but what I did come across while I was in there is Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver for the PS1, I love this game, I love the Legacy of Cain series, but uh, Soul Reaver was just brilliant, the way you could morph between two worlds, uh, Razael, uh, is that his name properly, Razael, yeah. A uh, fantastic character. His story is very consuming. You just want to know more and how he's going to get his revenge on Kane for doing what he done to him. But um, yeah, it's a great game. I picked that up for I believe eight pound. That was. So I think that's pretty on the nose with the price for that. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I also picked up a Sega Saturn game. I haven't picked up many Saturn games in such a long time. Every con that I've been going to lately, I haven't seen many Saturn games. Um, so I seen Sega Rally, and I thought I had to pick it up because it was the smashing price, of three fifty. That is fantastic for the Saturn game these days. I mean, Saturn games are getting quite hard to get, and it is complete with manual. So yeah. I'm really happy with it. The only problem with this one is it's the old satin boxes and if any everyone will know what I mean is the old satin boxes are like they are made of cardboard on the outside and they deteriorate very quickly. 
so it has got some scuffs on the outside some of the later ones were done in actual pro proper plastic ones and they're the better sound cases but what are you going to do it was one of the uh, release games for the sound um, and that's it guys that's all the pickups i've had for this week um, i'm quite happy with it a bit more n60 mad the n64 mad than usual but that just seems the way it's going hope you enjoyed this video guys if you do give us a thumbs up and if you like what you see give us a sub and as always guys, I'll catch you later.